Welcome to Mini Me Crafts. Today we're going to make a Girl Scout sit upon uh, swaps. These are so cute, really easy to make, and they really look like the real thing. So um, they're great little miniatures. So this is uh, what the finished product is going to look like. And as always, you're going to have your personalized tags, and they've got a hole that's pre punched. So you'll uh, take your bag, all your supplies are going to be individually packaged for each swap. And what you have in this kit is your two, your top and bottom of your sit upon. And then you'll have four edges, four strips that you can use for edges. And then you'll have the inside um, puffy stuffing of the sit upon. And then um, you'll have your pin and your, your tag. So the only thing that you have to kind of be careful of with your duct tape is that it doesn't fold over on itself because it's that's the only thing about duct tape is you have to make sure it doesn't stick on itself you can usually peel it pretty easily from something else but peeling it from itself is tough so I get it so it's laid down and if it won't let go of your fingers you know use the safety pin um, just to kind of get it off your fingers lay it down flat and then you're going to put your stuffing in and you want to center it. it doesn't have to be perfect but get it uh, relatively centered because these edges are going to be where your um, side side pieces go and then you're going to do your other side peel it and it's going to go right down on top relatively centered it's okay if you have some edges that are not um, lined up okay because you can trim um, or you can just cover them up with the adhesive it depends on what you want to do. So in this case, I'm going to trim this edge a little bit because it's a little bit longer than the others. Nobody's going to notice. And then kind of crease it down so you can see a little um, the outline of the pillow part. And then it's time for your edges. So you're going to peel each edge and you want to over um, wrap it over. So you want to just Put it halfway and have half of the adhesive sticking out so that you can go to the other side and just fold it over. And then as I go, I trim the edges so that I can lay the next side uh, flat. All right, and we got our next one. Now, the neat thing about these kits, too, um, not all of our kits are this way, but many of them are, is the color variation. You're going to get lots of different um, color variations that come when you order this. This is a good example. You've got this green and blue one and then this purple and kind of tie-dye. So um, they're all going to look a little different and that's makes them a little bit more unique which is nice. Okay, so you'll just work your way around. If you have overlap you can trim as you go. So for this kit, like many of the others, you just need scissors. I mean, that's it. And if you don't have scissors, even without scissors, you could probably make two um, folding under your um, edges. But there you go. Now, the other neat thing you can do with this um, is decorate it. So a lot of the girls like to um, put things in the top of the bottom that are sit upon. So my girls, I know, did. We used um, definitely used permanent markers if that you want to write something because that way the rain and water and wear and all that will um, not wear it down and then you know you could do stickers if you want you could do foam stickers uh, paper stickers uh, whatever the girls want to do um, just remind them once once it's on there it's it's on there especially if it's the permanent marker um, oops let me get my tag on first all our tags come with a little hole pre-punched and then all you have to do is poke a small hole in the corner of the sit upon and there you go super cute so you guys have fun and we'll see you next time